some muck diving. I'm only looking for nudibranchs. Uh, water vis is not very good, probably about three to four meters, but good for macro photography. So we're just here at Nongsa. Uh, it's uh, early morning, about to clear out of customs, and then uh, we'll head over. It'll take us about three hours to get there uh, to Sister Island, and then we'll do clearance. So clearance normally is pretty quick. So where we're going to head is, you can see this is the Singapore Straits here. We're going to head down here. So we'll stay on the Indonesian side first. We'll go right down to here, uh, this location about here, and then we'll cross over and uh, then we'll end up over this side over here. And this is where customs clearance is. And then we'll come through uh, and we'll uh, go to Keppel Marina, which is uh, very close to where we live. And then once we've um, cleared into Singapore, we'll then uh, get a local cruising permit and we'll head over here. This is, um, I'll just be closer there. This area here, there's a place called Pulau Hantu and it's a um, diving recreation zone. And uh, we'll spend a few days there uh, doing some diving. So hopefully we'll get some good shots and the weather will be clear up a bit at the moment. It's um, pretty overcast. So just looking here, the clears have been working really well because uh, it's rainy season, so keep all the rain out. Just open the sides up here at the moment. If we just go through to the side of the boat. Gray skies. Anyhow, we can still go diving. So let's start the engines up and we'll head off. much wind, it's pretty calm, but it looks like we've got a bit of rain coming. Overall it's not too bad. At the moment we're just motoring along, it's, we're doing uh, seven knots. Uh, it'll take us about uh, three hours to get to Sister Island to clear into Singapore. Just in the distance there, there's a uh, Indonesian naval vessel trolling this side. We're actually heading down the Indonesian side of uh, Batam. So we just uh, cleared customs in Singapore really quick. Only took about five minutes to do. And now we're on our way to Keppel Marina. Going to uh, what? Pull on to? Pull on to? Yeah. Yeah. How clear is the water? Yeah, clear water. The last few days seems uh, pretty good, you know, but uh, we have to see again. Okay. All right. We'll trust it up to you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Uh, it can't be very much uh, worse. 
So you can see a jetty just up there in the distance. Uh, we're heading up there. So that jetty is just there. Here's where we're headed. And uh, we won't actually stop at the jetty, but we'll anchor near there. There's actually two jetties there. One on uh, one on this side of the island and then one, one over here. But it's good to be out of the shipping lane and in the protection of these islands. It's actually quite calm. So what we've got going on here is we've got the oxygen bottle, which is one here. And then there's a hose coming off the bottle through this booster. And then the booster is being driven by this bottle here, which is just a bottle of air. Coming from here through to here. And that's actually increasing the pressure. And then we go into here. And these are the little tanks that we use. Uh, we'll boost this tank here up to around about uh, 200 bar. And then it's good for about four hours of diving. If you will ask me, I can sleep here anytime. Or here, even here, mm -hmm. if the weather is night, we better sleep in the open. Yeah, yeah. Here's quite nice. With the bean bags, you could. The anchor is secure. Anchor holding. Good. Anchor looks pretty good. There's about 0.2 of a knot current. All of helium. I suppose the helium shouldn't be too expensive as compared to like Pulau Wei. We pay like 400 US in Pulau Wei. For one That's bottle? Not including the bottle. The bottle belongs to us. The first time we paid 600 US. Crazy. And the second time we use the same bottle, send it to them for refill, and they charge us 400 US. For one and bottle of helium? Yeah. And that's like 150 bar. It's not even uh, 150 bar. Wow. So helium in Indonesia is pretty expensive. You know this refinery? It used to be a reef. And they built into a storage uh, area, you know, island. So now it becomes part of Pulau Bukong. So basically they destroyed yeah. the reef. It was a reef. It was just like a reef, just like, you know, like this, you know. Maybe a little bit higher, yeah, but it's really long. And you know? we used to dive on the other side of the reef and at the end as well. It looks like a dive boat there coming up. Yeah, I should think so. That's yeah, a local dive. Local it's dive probably boat. a dolphin, dolphin dive yeah. from RSYC. I mean, there's no other place to go. It's always around here. Most of the time they will just tie out to the jetty and the guy would just dive around the jetty. Here we are on Pulahantu, um, just arrived about uh, an hour ago. Uh, the guys are right out diving now, it's over here. Uh, weather conditions are pretty good, we've got a light uh, nor'easter blowing. Uh, may get a storm change in the afternoon. Just show you where they're diving. The drone footage shows it a bit better, um, but basically there's another dive boat there. They're diving to the left hand side of that. You can see all around here, this is the one of the, I think there's around four dive reserves that you're allowed to dive in Singapore. Wineries everywhere. So, I'm panning around. So, every one of these islands is put to use. Maybe a hundred years ago, this was a very pretty spot. Uh, but these days, the water's pretty dirty. We've probably got, um, there's probably three meter or four meters of visibility, I'd say. I can just see the rudders down there, um, but further past that, it's pretty hard to see. We're sitting here in fairly shallow water. We're in 12 meters of depth. It's actually a nice sandy bottom here, so it's actually pretty good for, for holding power, and you're pretty well protected as well. 
depending on the conditions we'll probably spend the rest of the day here um, might go into the uh, be closer into the island a bit later on uh, after we've had some lunch and hopefully get some um, good shots the main reason we're diving here is there's a particular type of nudibranch that actually resides in this area so Isabella is trying to get some shots of that um, apart from that you wouldn't bother diving here normally Davy and Isabella are using rebreathers so two to three hour dive is pretty common the main one they're after is the Pikachu so hopefully they've got some good shots of this uh, really strange looking nudibranch the tide's just changing, um, it's been coming in all morning and we're just going through swinging now so basically it's actually starting to run out, we've got a, still that nor'easter that's been coming through, it's quite light, it's probably only about 5 knots but it's holding us um, perpendicular to the current uh, but there's not much wave activity so it's pretty good, it's a very nice day here at Pulahantu. What I'm going to show you is how to launch your uh, drone from the boat, uh, I'm just going to do a hand launch and uh, then we'll go find out where these guys have been diving. A little bit uh, murky, but uh, not too bad. We still can see uh, like uh, four meters, five meters. Oh, really? Yeah. The place is quite sheltered, so maybe there's a uh, a lot of silt there. We'll try the other the other location later. On. Maybe the jetty will be nice. Okay. Yeah. But here is all silt, right? Yeah, a bit silty. Not much to see, really. We're looking for a nudie branch. I only find, I think, three pieces. <laughs> Did you get some pictures? Yeah, we got some pictures. I think uh, Isabella was uh, trying very hard to uh, position it and position the light, you know. And uh, we try different uh, angle of lighting. We'll have to see, see what uh, they like. We'll, we'll try the other location and I think the vis will be much better on the outside. Outside of jetty? Yeah, Okay. just just on the slope of the jetty it would be nice. Yep. You can see, I think, here I think Maybe they're due, due to too much people diving because most of the divers, if they come for training, they usually stay in this secluded area because mm -hmm. usually it's quite sheltered. The, uh, uh, on the outside, because there's more flow, so they yep. don't really come out to the outside to dive. So, but I reckon the, the coral on the outside with the flow will be much more livelier. Okay. Hope to see more things later. Yeah? No, 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 no. What happened was just now when when we're diving, yeah. uh, my my the RMS couldn't pick up the uh, uh, one of the temperature probe, okay. so it just revert to uh, the factory recommendation hour. Not tracking, so I'm going to check. Hey, do you need help? Any gas? No, no. I don't think so. Yeah. So how many sensors were working? One, one sensor is not working. It's not uh, getting any signal at all. No, but he's got two, two um, shear waters. So ah. six sensors. Yeah, I got two shear waters. 